So you got one of the sisters that's, you know, taking issue with a lot of you sassy black men. It's a lot of sassy black men out here. And I'm glad this sister's bringing it up because I got to bring it up as well. So let's go ahead and roll that. There's something about my own kind that I want to address that I am not liking. Now, I love black men. You guys are kings in my eyes. But there is some things that I am not liking and I want y'all to fix. Black men seem to be getting very sassy and I'm not liking it. Sometimes I notice if I'm in like, if I'm looking at shade room comments or if I myself am arguing or I'm getting shady comments on my things that I post on social media, it's usually coming from a black man. It's usually coming from a black man. In the shade room comments, blog comments, where it's just like, if a woman is doing something, like anything, if a woman is doing something, it seems like it's a lot of black men that just, you know, they want to get real sassy and they want to say some interesting things in these comments. If a woman of color is um, addressing that she knows her worth, a black man, he, he got something to say in the comments. He feel like she don't, she don't deserve to know her worth. If a black woman is receiving success, that it's a black man in the comments feeling like she don't deserve this success. If a woman appears happy, it's a black man in the comments feeling like she don't deserve to be happy. Like, I don't understand what it is. I don't know why y'all so sassy. I don't know if it's self-hatred. I don't know if it's anger, misdirected anger. I don't know if it's like an imbalance in the masculine and feminine energy inside you, but it gotta stop. Because women of color are your biggest supporters. And I'm not talking about all black men. Of course, I said I look at black men as kings. And there are tons of black men out here that are supportive of their own that, you know, they, they don't act like this. I'm not talking about you. But I just notice a lot of black men, you have a lot of misdirected anger and you got a lot of sassiness in you and that I'm not feeling. And I know others aren't feeling it either. And I want y'all to cut it out because we love you. I love you. And I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you go down like that. We need to support each other a lot better. Now, I really want to interpret what she is saying and just give it some balance to, you know, what she's saying. Now, she mentioned in the sassy black men. What she's really saying is that we have a lot of black men today that really walk in feminine energy. They very feminine and they are so feminine. You know, they're doing things like wearing bonnets in public men. Now, we, we were talking about the women doing it. Now I see grown black men walking around the airport. Last night I was in the airport. I was coming back from Chicago and I see a grown black man walking around uh, with a bonnet on. What's next, fellas? Protective styles. Is that next? I see more men today with hair down their back longer than women. I say, when did we, when did all this start with black men, all this hair down their back, like a, like a woman, you will see it here and there, but when did that come in? Right. On top of that, you got men out here that's wearing their purse, right? Their man purse. They're wearing it across. They, they shoulder. It's a purse. And I, I, you know, I remember it threw me completely off. When I was, you know, on a, one of the uh, river trip out there in Chicago, and I'm just kind of sitting there, and I see this dude and his girl. They both had a purse on, and he's taking a picture, you know, taking pictures or whatever. But he had a purse on, y'all, a purse. I'm like, black women. Let me ask you a question. Why y'all dating dudes that wearing purses? Y'all don't feel some sort of way about that. I'm just saying, right? Like y'all don't feel some sort of way that they got dudes that got longer hair than y'all. Like y'all don't feel some sort of way about some of that. But I will say this. They kind of bust out that protective style talk because these dudes that got this long hair, they're not walking around putting wigs on talking about a protective style. 
or, or they, you know what I'm saying? They're not doing that. These dudes, you never see them like that. They got their natural hair all over the place. So, yeah, it kind of sounds like that protective style conversation. It sounds like laziness for that day. That's what it sounds like. But you see these dudes, they very argumentative. Men don't argue with women. Like, women's like, yeah, yeah, like, men's like, either get quiet or they either walk off. But these dudes will argue with you. These dudes will get you told, but this is the problem. The reason why you have so many sassy black men today is because they were raised with single mothers. That's what that is. Why wouldn't he be sassy? If his mammy was sassy and he didn't have his father around, he took on the traits of his sassy mammy. And unfortunately, a lot of you ladies baby your sons. That makes it even worse. You baby your sons. You baby them so much. You don't do that to your daughters, but you baby your sons. And then you want to know why they come out so sassy. It's really what it is. I've never in my life seen so many, like she said, sassy black men. And I applaud her for coming out and speaking up on this. And when we say sassy, we're not talking about the LGBT. These people, these guys aren't LGBT. They're not. But they, they sassy. They, they very, very feminine. Black women, it's going to take you to start putting your foot down and say, hey, I don't want a man that got longer hair than me. I don't want a man that is walking around with a freaking purse. I don't want a man that's always in women business. I don't want that. I want a man to be a freaking man. Where's your wallet at, bruh? You know, where's your briefcase? Cause you go and do some business. Okay. A backpack is fine. We traveling. Cool. We're not a purse. No, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, Ladies, you got to institute that. At least if in your day life, you say, look, I want a man to be a doggone man. I don't want nothing questionable about you. Nothing. We should not be using the same exact hair products. You know what I'm saying? Other, hey, I'm just gonna, hey, I got to go there because this, this, this sassy, this sassy black man thing. She, she's definitely talking about something that I've been seeing and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Be a doggone man. But y'all let me know, like, like women, ladies, you know, you see these, these brothers be sassy out here. And I know some of them are going to get offended that I said what I was saying. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with it. Hopefully they offended to the point that they change their ways. The women are not liking how sassy y'all are. Be men. 